today is a great day. Today is an exciting day because today we're getting rid of my twin turbo Mustang. It's going bye bye, but just for a short period of time. So uh, we're finally going to drop it off with my boy Johnny. He's built a bunch of these 10 R80 Mustangs. So we have the clutches in the back. Listen, I can do about anything. I have done about everything with this car, ripping out an engine, doing all this. I just did not. I could pull the trans out of this car, sure. It would have cost me less. But the thing is, he's an expert at what he does. And when you dig inside of a transmission, it's it's something I've never done before, and I'm not comfortable with doing that. So for all of you guys out there that follow me for the DIY stuff, I apologize. This is like the first time on this car since we've been doing all of this, this twin turbo stuff, this build, this adventure, that I'm gonna let somebody else do their work. But I really feel comfortable with let somebody else, I don't feel comfortable doing it myself. So that's neither here nor there. Um, I think it's a smart decision on my, my behalf and most of you would probably agree. And uh, we're gonna walk over everything we got in the trunk, all the parts, make sure that we're not missing anything or if I need to order anything else because he's the expert. And then we're going to the track since we're already up here in the area in Bowling Green and we're going to see a 2020 Mustang GT500 track pack, what it will do at the drag strip for the first time. This should be a YouTube first as far as track pack goes. So it should be exciting. I'm gonna replace all this crap right here. I got you. I had to chop the other thing out of this, this kinked line, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Still got a, some kind of weird issue. Yeah, under load, it seems to be pretty there. I mean, considering. But yeah, that 97 pass that we had last time at 148, the transmission definitely slipping. Uh, watching this is Johnny if you are in the area and if he wants all this length I will do it give him some more business yeah man you've, you've had your your hands in these 10 or 80 transmissions several. quite yeah several times so I'm very picky with who I choose to work on my car and uh, you seem to know what you're doing so yeah, we'll take care of it. yeah Rick and Leticia Hughes you did theirs right yep, yeah yep. and they've had no problems so uh, should be should be good to go but yeah this is what we got in the back which I guess I'm hoping is the same thing that you've got yep Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. So we're finally gonna get our uh, transmission built. Then maybe we'll go fast. Maybe you just got a reason. I don't know, right? But... It's all that he doesn't know how to no. Same mind. I just stuck a T in it for right now. But right. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna clean it all up. But. Well, this is nice. How you've done this. I just, I try to eliminate anything you can to make it look yep. a little better, right? Okay, you're going, I see what you're doing. So where's the brake booster going? That's it right there. Oh, you got it in line with the, I see. That's, okay. We're finally here. Home sweet home. Beach Bend. All right, where's he at? Where does he be? I don't see him. He's probably on the track. That's fine. Ah, oh, okay, yep. What's up? I finally made it. Have you run yet? Yeah, I ran twice. Once it did 11.0. Oh. And then, uh, that was the first pass. And then the second one, I tried to turn the launch control up too high and it spun. Okay. The air is starting to feel good. It feels good today, man. Yeah, let me get out of this thing. Yeah, the last time we were here, it was like 31 or 32 or something like that. So, there it is. First time out. First time at the track. And the carbon fiber wheels. 2020 GT500. That's a sweet built-in launch control. Well, I just missed that. She went nose high and then came back down. Sparks everywhere.
right. There it is, 10.9. Was that it? That was 10.90s, wasn't it? 10.98. Yeah, I'm buddy. Happy I'm doing homes. <laughs> yeah, fastest pass of the night. In the 10s already, just bought the car. Look at you. That's all I wanted was a 10 second stock car. Like just to show everybody still has the track arrow on the front. Which actually is going to hurt. That's hurting it. Yeah. We still have the tire pump in the back. We didn't take anything out of the car so you're, whatsoever. You're full weight. Full weight, full arrow. I know you were wanting to wait out here, but unfortunately it's I closed know, yeah, down. I going to have it weighed for you guys, but that'll be coming soon too. I'm excited, man. I can't believe it. 10s. I know a bunch of people have done it, but it's like, it is 2700 DA right now. It's 82 degrees out, out it's here. It's hot. It's hot yeah, and I'm it's muggy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and already in the 10s. So. I think 1098 is very respectable. It's very. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Put this thing on a bottle, see what happens. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh oh. 1090s. Alrighty, that was your third hit ever in this car? Third hit. The first one was an 11 0. The second one, I got a little greedy with the launch control. Yeah. I bumped it 300 RPM instead of just stepping it up. So you went like another 100 or so on this one? That was 100 RPM more than the first pass, the which first was pass. 11 0. And honestly, after they just prepped it, yeah. I think I was okay at the 28 again. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yep. They just prepped it and sprayed it down. So. But plus, the prep's not going to be on point out, you know, out here. Yeah. There's nobody. It's not like an event. Behind a bunch of street tires. So. Yep. So 1090 is very respectable. Yeah. Awesome, bro. Hey, congratulations, guys. You made it to the end of the video. But before you leave, please take a couple of minutes, listen to what I got to say, because it might save somebody's life. So a couple of months ago, myself and a couple others twin turboed a GT350R. Belongs to a friend of mine. His name is Jack. YouTube channel is Determined Veteran. Myself is also a veteran. I uh, served in Afghanistan and Iraq, two tours each, and eventually got hurt. And here we are making silly YouTube videos. Yeah. But this message is to all of you out there that are watching that support the men and women at arms. Those of you out there that have served, this message is for you. Know that you're not alone. There are scars all over our bodies that we're left with when we get out. Most of which are up here though. They never leave. They never seem to heal. Please know that you're not alone in this fight. You fought for your country, please fight for yourself. If you feel that you're in trouble, please call this number down here. But in support of veteran awareness, Charities are really important to help fund some of these charities. Jack Determined Veteran, HellhorsePerformance.com, and now myself are advertising a poster that was come up with. It looks like it's straight from Ford. The quality is top notch. It's not like a paper or something you'd hang on the wall, whatever. This is a little bit more upscale than that. Uh, very cost effective, but all proceeds, 100%, are going towards veteran awareness and veteran charities. If you fought overseas, if you were in the military now, or you ever will be, this is the message that I would like you to hear. You are not alone. And if you would like to support this cause in any way, again, please check out description below. But I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. God bless.